guys, my name is Hope and I'm a Cedaholic and I'm coming to film my second ever seed exchange. This huge box of seeds, look at that. And this is actually after I refilled it because I got it pretty full and you know, I keep telling you guys I probably need an intervention. So when you get a big box of seeds like this and you're a Cedaholic, what do you do? You spend three days going through, figuring out what you'd like to keep, what's interesting, and filling it back up. Then, I just so happened to have gotten this little tin full. Really full, actually. So I'm going to quick run through things that I found interesting. This is actually, it says dragon fruit seeds. It doesn't say who it was from. I'm not quite sure. But... I had bought some plant starts, so I didn't keep any of those. So I'm just going to do a quick run through of what the Cedaholic found interesting enough to want a few of. And I tried to be very careful and mindful that other people are going to be involved in this exchange. So one of the things that I took is a new type of okra for me. Uh, geez, I'm trying to get in frame here and I'm learning... This uh, is not my phone. This is a camera, actually. And this is Oprah Star of David, which I did not have. And it's a green okra, but I like okra a lot, especially raw sliced in my salads. So I grow quite a bit because I do eat it. And I found a package of this bib butterhead lettuce from MI Gardener. Don't know if you can see that. I'm um, doing this by myself, my camera guy walked away so I'm trying to get it, um, it in frame so you can see what the heck I actually have got here and that is just a package I emptied and split with them um, but anyways um, what I have done is um, add some of my own saved seeds this um, is mammoth Russian sunflower and you see on the quantity, I put a fair bit. And I think I got about 20 seeds, and there must have been, oh God, 70. And then I got um, Tahitian squash. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> Trying to learn the Tahitian squash. Um, um, I took about 20 seeds of that, because I told you I'm going to be squash forward this year. I got cypress vine, which I'd never heard of, but on the um, seed exchange pack, it said it's good for the hummingbirds, which are my absolute favorite. So I grabbed some of those, and I got some unknown tomatoes that I self-saved, um, and I'm just including those because I was going through... <laughs> And I found them. This is a seed tape of, um, this is, um, radish. I forget which. And this is a seed tape. I um, took a little bit of this and put a bit back of Detroit dark red, um, beets. And then I've got a package of purple globe white top turnip from a company called Sustainable seedcompany.com who I'd never heard of but I took the whole pack because there's like four packs in this box and I so I didn't feel bad taking those then I got this Anasazi bean and there's someone that's in this exchange that was there when they found this bean and I forget how old it is but it is an ancient bean that was found in a cave and there was about a dozen and a half seeds and I took I think eight and I took some Korean cantaloupe. Um, I took the last of the papalo because there's not very many. And the papalo herb is like a replacement for cilantro when your cilantro bolts. It won't um, bolt as readily. So I'm going to try that. Then I took Beherosin paprika pepper. And I love to grow sweet peppers of any kind. So I'm going to try that. And this organic rutabaga joan I took. There wasn't any more of that, but the seeds were so small I didn't want to spill them all over, so I just took those. 
I took a few um, loofah gourd seeds, um, a few blue hu um, Hubbard squash, and there's a lot of those in there. Um, a couple orange banana tomato seeds. Um, this is um, Ball's Improved Orange Calendula, or Calendula. I don't know how it's actually supposed to be pronounced. I've always called it Calendula. So, um, whichever way you refer to it. Huh, looks like I have two packs of the Korean cantaloupes. I'll have to check before I close this up and send it back. If I do, I'll put one back in. This is parsnip seeds, and there was a lot of those. So I just took a pinch, and I'll see how those do. And these are um, eight crowder peas, brown crowder peas. I took um, like eight seeds. And this is the same thing with this um, tennis ball lettuce. I was going to order this one from Baker Creek because it's a mini and I'm interested in those this year. And see, lettuce seed is so small with my disability. I don't want to spill it all over. And this um, mammoth rainbow mix. I don't know if these are pellets. They, feel, they don't feel like lettuce. So I'm going to take a look at those. I just am going to hang on to those. And I took... Um, a few green globe artichokes. There's about eight seeds here. A package of arugula. Not a lot left in that package, but enough to get me started. And this gorgeous lettuce I'd never seen before. This is a Baker Creek package. You probably all recognize it, but it's called Lettuce Linux. Or Lunix. L-U-N-I-X. And I really like the bitterness of the red... Um, dark red and maroon lettuces against the greens of um, a green lettuce or and spinach and the spiciness of arugula makes a great salad then this is a mesclun mixture and this is about all that's left so I kept that and then I also kept this package of cauliflower and that's all I took out of the seed exchange box and I mean what would you take if you had a box this big to choose from and I, you guys saw me box up my um well let's see where's this thing my butternut squash seeds and i put about five packs of those and i threw in a bunch of tomatoes a bunch of duplicates and a bunch of other things and we all wrote notes and this is my note so i want to thank you guys as always for watching and i want to say to you all blessings of bounty and may your gardens and your lives always bring you joy inspiration and abundance see you guys next time goodbye